guys welcome back to my channel in today's video you're gonna see me go to different thrift stores and try to find some good deals I think I definitely went a little bit overboard but I genuinely do love thrifting so I wanted to make this video good for you guys and make sure I got enough things some of these things you will notice are not my size which is because I'm thinking of thrifting them of thrifting them I'm thinking of doing thrift flips in the near future you guys will see that video of me transforming some of these things into cuter trendier modern items i'm gonna start off with the first store i went to which was value village hey guys first stop is value village so i found this cute dress look how cute let's take it Ooh. Cute. Does it look cute? <laughs> so there's this. I'm not sure what it is, but it reminds me of the fabric for this dress. I'm gonna put it up. And I'm kind of inspired. I've never gone to Value Village, so this was interesting. I ended up paying $30.09 for all of the things that I got, which are eight items. I'm gonna be showing you guys the items from bottom to top. So the first item was $1.60. The second item will be $1.80. And then the last item will be $4.90. So this is the first item. It's pretty basic just a visor. I really like the color. I feel like I've been really into olive green. It's just a basic hat and I'm happy with it. The second item is also a hat. When I tried it on I wasn't sure if I liked it or not but I ended up really liking it so I got it. And it's this one. I think it's really cute. I didn't know this but it is reversible. So on the inside it's black and then in the outside it's blue so all of these items before showing them to you guys I washed them before trying them on I washed them and I dried them and since this was the first store I went to try to save some time and put them all together and as you can see that did not work out so well this top got stained at first I was like maybe I didn't notice these stains but there are way too many stains to not have noticed it. So I do believe that something, one of the items that I put in the washing machine um, did stain my other items. So only two of my items got stained, which was good, but I'm really sad that this one got stained because I really had a vision for this one. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this anymore. This next one was another one that was also dyed. As you can see, there's a black stain right there. It's just a basic white t-shirt and i got this one with the intentions of tie-dyeing it so i might still tie-dye it this one is the first item that i found i fell in love with it as soon as i saw it i'm thinking of making it a skirt and a top like a two-piece set and this one i like that the top of the shirt is has kind of this i think it's called crowl neck i'm not sure but i really like this effect and I really like the pattern and the fact that it's super long that the original price was I believe $149 which is great because I got this for $6 and something these next two things I got are not clothing pieces but I definitely intend to make them into clothing pieces here is the first one it is this curtain fabric and I believe this is two panels and yeah, if you want to see what I turned this into, stay tuned. And last but not least, it is this other curtain fabric. I think it's so pretty. The details are so beautiful. It really reminded me of this dress that I'm going to put up. And this is a dress that I am going to take inspiration from to try to create my birthday outfit. That was all of the items I got from the first store. Now the second store was Goodwill. Finally! It is too short. Nah. Thank 
Goodwill, I ended up spending $12.69. I ended up getting three items. The first item is this purse. As you can see, it still has a price on it. And this cost me $4.99. It's a guest bag. The inside looks pretty clean. It's just black in there. And then it has this pocket. It also has this chain, which makes me think that it was a crossbody bag. But the chain is broken. So I'm thinking of taking this chain off and using it for a different DIY project. It's a little bit tight. So I think I'm going to take this handle off and I'm going to replace it with a different handle. This next one is a Mexico Adidas shirt. So here it is. It's like a patch or it's embroidered. And then in the back it says Adidas. So this is a really, really cute top. It is a size medium and I am a size small so it does look a little bit wide. The only thing about this one is even after I washed it, it had this tiny stain. It's not a big deal, but it is there and it's right at the front, so it is visible. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it out, but I'm definitely gonna try. And this last piece is also not my size, but I really liked it whenever I saw it. And I saw that it was Victoria's Secret and I don't usually find Victoria's Secret items at the thrift store, so I was pretty excited. And what I'm thinking is to make this into a skirt and a top if there's enough fabric. If not, then I'm just going to make it into a top. But I was thinking that at the, split, at the slit, it could have the lace on there. I'm envisioning it already. So kind of like that. The slit will be smaller, of course. But, but yeah, this is what I'm thinking of. I really like it and I'm pretty happy with this one too. A couple of days after those two thrift stores, I went to Value Village again. Hey guys, so we're here at Value Village again to try to find some more clothes like I told you guys. Um, so yeah, let's go inside and see what we can find. Finding anything? Huh? Oh, you're too easy! <laughs> This is what we got so far. So I have these two pieces. I'm gonna put the inspiration picture up right now. So I'm in between this one and this one is nine dollars and this one, which is $14.99. So I don't know. Should I get this one or this one? Basic or extra? And this time I spent a total of $34.79, but I did end up getting 11 items, which I think it's pretty good. The first item I got is this pair of jeans. We found them at the boys section and they just look like this. And I got them for my sister because they look like they wouldn't fit me and they might, might fit her. And they are Levi's. The only thing was that they did fit her tight around the waist, which was pretty sad, but I am thinking of cutting them down here, down on this line, and adding these little things. Not sure what they're called. They're called eyelets. And then I'm thinking of putting a chain through them. And since she doesn't want to be exposed, obviously, I'm going to put probably like a skin tone color behind the chain just to kind of make them fit better and I think they're gonna look super cute. I might even take them for myself. Next we have this cute black dress. It's just embroidered like this. This is a size medium but since it's a flowy dress it doesn't really matter too much. I think it will still fit me. It's just really cute for being around the house or maybe going to the park. Next, I found these. They're a size extra small, so they fit me a little bit tighter than I wished, but I, I'm still gonna keep them. What I'm thinking of doing to these is adding elastic at the bottom to have them look like sweatpants. These look like they don't come all the way to the floor though, but I don't think that will be a big problem for me. I love the color. 
love 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 this color so that is why I got these this white piece is just basic and my sister got this one the intentions for this one are to tie-dye it so I'm thinking of tie-dyeing it for her and making a matching face mask so so yeah this one is also for my sister so this one looks like this it looks like overalls they're from American Eagle and they're a size small and they just look like this I am gonna have to fix these for her too because they do fit a little bit loose she's pretty small so I was really struggling to pick the right suit because I wanted a two-piece but I did end up going with this one I didn't show it in my video but the reason I ended up going with this one is because this one was closer closer to my size the other two were a size 10 and a size 14 so I thought that if I do end up going with my vision I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of adjustments and I wasn't quite sure if I knew how to make those adjustments good enough so I decided to go with one closer to my size so. and you also saw me get this piece which is a leopard pink print I wasn't sure if I should get this but after thinking about it I decided to go with it because I saw, I remembered this piece that Kendall Jenner wore and I was in love with it and I'm really excited to try to recreate something like it, something similar to it using this fabric and making a matching mask. I think that's going to be so cute. So yeah, this is just a bed sheet. <laughs> so I mean, this is a lot of fabric last two pieces I got was this other visor just a basic visor just like my other one this one is bright orange and the reason I got this is because my university colors are bright orange and last but not least for this one I got this picnic basket and the last store I went to was Goodwill again. It is day three of thrifting, so today I came to a Goodwill. So let's go inside and see what we can find. So I found this really cute skirt. I think it's from Forever 21. And I'm gonna take it because it's so cute. the little boy section and they are $1.99 I did end up paying $38.62 which is the most I've paid for from the other thrift stores the first item is not for me it's for my sister is this overall skirt dress kind of thing so it looks like this it's quarter corduroy corduroy so it's pretty soft and it's light pink which makes it super girly and this one I'm gonna have to fix also because it fits her big and then this is a forever 21 piece next I found these at the last minute whenever I decided to go to the little boy section these are cargo pants or camo pants and they look like this they're they have elastic at the bottom so it'll make them like kind of sweatpants style and it has these pockets right here and when I saw the price I was just like I'm definitely taking these these were one dollar and ninety nine cents I'm gonna start shopping in the little boys section way more often now these are size 16 regular for little boys and it does look like it's gonna fit me and what I just realized a couple of hours ago was that it does have two holes one right here and the other one right here by the pockets so what I'm gonna do is just close it up and it'll be good to go these next ones are athletic pants so these are Adidas 
and it's light pink, which is perfect for me. They are a size medium, but I'm hoping they'll still fit. Next up is this skirt. It's also camo print. And I love that it has these little pockets right here. I think it might be a little big for me because she got no booty, but I'll just take it in from the side. It is another Forever 21 piece and it is a size small. Next, I got these pants, which are also athletic pants. They're also Adidas and they're in a different shade of pink slash purple. They're kind of like a purple pink. I feel like for going to school or when it gets cold, I hate putting jeans on. So these will be good for those kind of days. And the last item I really fell in love with. I think it's so, 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 so cute. The only thing is that it is see-through. So I was thinking maybe I could line it with some red fabric or black fabric. I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe some nude fabric too. So it gives it the illusion that, you know, the illusion. And these are a sleepwear set. And my favorite part of all is that it is in a triangle shape like the shirts that are really trendy right now so i love that i also really like the beading this one came with its pants and i'm thinking of just adding some red shorts probably underneath so because i do not want to go out exposed you know these are transparent too you can see my hand through here and it looks like i have one more piece which might not be super interesting for y'all, but when I saw it, I thought maybe I can make this work. So it's this sweater vest, and I believe it's a shirt. It looks like this, pretty long. And I think this one's super cute with, with like a pleated tennis skirt. So I think this would be super cute with that. And that is all. So in total with the four stores that I bought stuff from, I ended up spending $116.19. I ended up getting 28 items, which means that approximately each item was $4.18, which is amazing. I mean, normally I would not spend that much on a shopping trip, but with the amount of things I got and because it is spiking up my creativity and it is making me want to sew and making me want to create things i'm really happy with it and it just makes me so excited to be able to transform these items into something super cute or to style them and the fact that thrift stores they sell used items that would otherwise be sent to the dumpster or to somewhere that creates more pollution this makes me feel good that i am helping out in a little way you know if i'm not able to donate or help out in any other way at least i am buying used items that would otherwise contribute to pollution if that makes any sense my thoughts were that value village is a little bit cheaper than goodwill in my opinion i was able to get more items for less but i guess it just depends what you're shopping for i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you're thinking about thrifting or not definitely go for it it's so much fun there's so much variety it's like a it's like a surprise that's what makes me so excited to go because you never know what you're gonna find but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more stay tuned for my future videos bye